Hi guys, I'm here with Matthias. He's a software engineer at Trading Technologies and I'm going to talk to him about getting started in technology. So can you tell us a little bit about what you do here at TT? So I do mostly C++ programming in the back, back end. I uh, work on the fixed team, which we process a lot of fixed message, all the fixed message actually. Then we send them to the exchange and through other different services. And then when it comes back, we have to send a fixed message back to um, the client, the fixed client. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, ask you a few questions mm -hmm. on how to get started in tech, especially in software engineering, because a lot of people want to know how to get in the business, in the industry. So what is your advice for an aspiring software engineer? Oh, okay. Um, so it all depends, you know, if you don't have a degree, most likely what you want to show is like personal projects, and there's tons of ways to do it, especially in C++. And then you'll be asked, you know, if you're a junior, right, you'll be asked a basic question, what's a pointer, for instance, and what's memory allocation, garbage collection, and all of that. And then they will ask you different questions, such as, you know, understanding how the memory is allocated, how it's being managed, um, if in different design patterns, for instance, but that's, that's just logic. Uh, if you know optimization, in my case, because we are really into the critical path, and that's very important to understand that. Um, so, would it be better to have a degree or not when you're going into software engineering, or would it help more if you studied it compared to not having the educational background? I think it, it, it really, it's always easier if you get a degree and an internship and so on, but there's many people there at Facebook, Google, or even a company here, actually. Uh, there's people here that started without a degree in programming, but they were so good at it, and they were able to prove that they could do the job. So for my team, we have seen, we have interviewed people that weren't really from that background, but they were really good and passionate at it, and during the interview, we give them a chance to, all right, prove us wrong, and, and they qualified, so. So it all depends on how you like work on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so next question, what are the best languages that would be a good foundation to become a software engineer? Like when you're starting from scratch or you have no coding experience at all, what would be the best language to learn? I, th I think, um, again, it will depend where you want to go. Because if you do web development, you don't care much about C++ and C. If you want to go into video games, you might want to know how C++ works and things like that. But maybe you're just doing iOS games and you only need to know how, what is it? Um, just to answer quickly to your previous question, I think Python is really accessible and uh, I think Go language too, because it's very into saying, do this, then that. And that's oh, for the foundation that. of yeah, the... That's really, and, and Python, you don't need to buy any compiler or anything into yes. text editor. As for C++, um, yeah, if you have like a solid C++ background, uh, what is like? Well, usually, what, where could you apply that skill set? Like, what industry, what business, what projects could you work on? So, as of what jobs could you apply? Yeah, so as of today, there's many. Uh, in finances, it's really a lot of C plus plus. Like the trading industry. Yes. Yeah. Banks, tradings, and all of that. They use a lot of C plus plus. Video. Excuse me. Video games are using a lot of C plus plus. But again, it depends where you go. Uh, if you work, I've interviewed for a video game company where they were asking very, very <laughs> low-level C, le C uh, knowledge, where some of the game companies were asking about Unity 3D experience and Unreal Engine 4, um, which Unreal Engine is C++, but Unity is C Sharp, uh, JavaScript. Um, then there's other companies. I mean, anything that is software-related will most likely be either C Sharp, Java, and C++. And C++ is not becoming a niche because it's easier to learn Python, Java, and yes. other language, yes. whereas C++, C++, if you can get your knowledge on it and if you like it, because it's a very tricky language. Okay, so thank you so much for your time you. and answering the questions. Hi guys, so I'm with Hadrian Song. He's another software engineer here at Trading Technologies, and he's going to talk about uh, how to get started in the tech industry. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about what you do here at TT, your job as a software engineer? Okay, so uh, I'm a software engineer in TT. Cool. Uh, my team is 
fixed adapter, which is more like a entrance for the back end system. And in this, in that team, I work as software engineer. And what motivated you to be working in the tech industry, especially software engineering? Uh, okay, so first of all, I like problem solving, and the reason why I chose TT is because this this industry cares about the performance. All right, so. Uh, what advice can you give for those who are aspiring to be future software engineers, just like you? Oh, uh, I think you just have to have some sort of a mindset that you know you should like you should, you gotta have some sort of mindset in order to become a good software engineer. In in my opinion, yes, okay, I mean, it might be wrong. And I think the best way to practice this kind of mindset or learn this kind of mindset is. Uh, do some problem solving. Oh, you know, like algorithm questions. Mm. If oh. you do that, like you think. Is there a like lot. a drill for that, or like practice for like I mean, algorithm you, or yeah, problem yeah. solving for coders? Yeah, coders? for sure. Yeah, I mm. mean there are like many uh, sites for oh. for those. Yeah, Speaking not, of websites, do you remember what the websites are? LeetCode and CodeForce. Oh. Uh, Top Coder. But there are like a bunch of like websites for this. Did you use that before? Yeah, I used like it a lot. Learning? Oh. Yeah, I used it a lot. And the reason why I think those websites are very useful is because you think a lot and you try to come up with the many solutions as you can. I mean, in the beginning, you the, the goal is to solve the problem. But later on, I think you just have to think about like how many solutions you can come up with. Oh, that's, then, that's a big part in yeah, like, yeah. software. Yeah. yeah, so you can optimize it. You can, you know, bring up the performance. You know, like by having. You can a better, think of the best way how yeah. it's done. Yeah, the be to have a best big O or you know the, the time the latency whatever. And yeah, I think that's a that's a good way to start. Cool. Thanks for the the websites. Mm -hmm. We're gonna look that up. <laughs> gonna uh, share it with them. Yeah. And uh, lastly, what do you think are the top skills that you would recommend for those who are starting? Top skills? Top skills, like it could be soft skills, technical skills, any valuable skills that they need when they're just starting. Oh. When they're trying to get into software. Mm -hmm. I know it's troubleshooting or something like that, like analytical skills is very helpful. Yeah, I mean, uh, the I think the most important thing is your eagerness, eagerness to mm. learn. That's a you good know, word, like, eagerness. Like yeah. you gotta be eager and you yeah. gotta have that passion inside yeah. of you. I think so. When I first started in TT, I didn't know that much about TT system, so hmm. it was hard for me to like whenever the the project or the job is assigned to me, it was hard for me to like you know know where it is, where the problem is, and how should I, you know, how should I approach this problem? Because yes. I don't know the system that well. Yes. So in order to do my job well, I first I need to, you know, like understand understand the system. The company. Yeah. And the struggle a little bit, you know. Mm. Otherwise, if you don't struggle to understand the system, you'll you'll stay in a certain level. I think, in my opinion. You're not gonna improve. You're yeah. not gonna be improved. Oh yes, gonna, eagerness. You know, so. Yeah, eagerness. Eagerness to learn any system that. Your willingness also. To. Yeah, your willingness. Okay, thank you so much for your time, Hadrian. Okay. Thank you. I've, I think we learned a lot, especially from the websites and the skills that you gave us. Thank you so much. And do you have any other message for those who are uh, planning or dreaming of becoming a software engineer someday? Mm. I mean, Aside from like doing it, your best and work I mean, hard. Yeah, I mean, if you like it, Go for it, and if you don't like it, go for it. Still go for it. Still go for it. <laughs> yeah, still go for it. Push it. Push Why it. Why not? Yeah, I and mean, one day you will get better. It's a very lucrative industry, right? It's growing. It's emerging. Yeah, it's mean, gonna be here. I think, in, in my opinion, everyone in the future, everyone will know how to code. So it doesn't matter. You have to be a <laughs> software know. engineer. But in networking too, and in hardware, there's like yeah, everyone programming much know involved. How to, yeah. Uh, how to how to code? Yes. So, go All for right. it. Yay! Go for it. Push yeah. it. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Yeah.